Hey friends, Pastor Buddy Chapman, Keep the Promise Ministries on the midweek message. I hope everybody's having a good time tonight. Going to jump on into the Word and share a few things with you today. I entitled this Build On, Build Up, and Build Out. And it really comes from our scripture at 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. I'm going to read that for you. It says, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. So I want to talk about that tonight. And earlier in that chapter, chapter five, Paul's really talking about the urgency and preparing the believers for Christ's return. I think that's something we should do as this day goes uh, forward now, because, you know, we don't know when Christ is coming back, but it's always uh, 24 hours closer than it was yesterday. And so we should have an urgency about sharing about Christ's return. The next thing he starts talking about is that he wants us as children of light, as, as believers, to encourage one another. And then he reminds us about the gospel message, man. This is how you're saved, by what Jesus Christ has done. So he ties all those things together. And then he rolls out and he starts encouraging one another. He says, hey, look, encourage, build up and keep going with that. So I wonder... How often do we really encourage one another? You know, we say a few kind words, things like that, but do we really invest in people? Do we really say, hey, you know what? I'm going to spend some time and pour into this person or or, or however, you know, God chooses to, to use you on that. So when I, I broke it out to build uh, on, build up and build out, I kind of thought about this. We need to be building on, of course, the foundation of Jesus Christ, the death, burial, resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and what he's done for us, that gospel message, man, that saving message message, the name above all names, Jesus Christ. How are we living that out? How are we sharing that daily? How do we, um, you know, lead God and direct people in our families and in our job and things like that? So, so how are we building on that? How are we building on that foundation of Christ? And next, I start thinking about how do we build each other up? Man, are we investing? Like I said, I use that a lot. Are we investing in one another? Are we encouraging one another? I want to I wanna ask you this. Who is it that God's put in your life to encourage? Who is it maybe that next generation to pour into? You know, we're running this race. We're running this journey. And, and you know, sooner or later, we're going to have to pass that baton. But when I pass it off, I want to pass it on to somebody that I've been working with and encouraging. You know, there's people that pour into my life. I want to be pouring into other people's life. Not to be like me, but to be like Jesus, to, to help them find their gifts, to help them find out what God's calling is in their life and come along and support that. And then the next thing I have here is to build out. You say, what do you mean build? out. Build out upon what God is already teaching us. You know what? Go into the highways and the hedges. Go out and share the gospel message, man. It's so much bigger than just your life. It's kingdom size. Are we really thinking about kingdom uh, building? You know, a lot of times we can get really focused on our church or our mission or our deal or whatever the things, but it's so much bigger than just you and I. It's about the kingdom of God, and I want to be used in a mighty way, just like many folks we talk to each day want to be used, but sometimes we just need to be encouraged to say, hey, look, there's areas that God has for your life out here that, that you can just plug in. One of the things that I've been really uh, working on and things that God has been showing me over this last year is to find somebody to mentor. That next generation maybe right behind you or maybe spend time with the generation that's a little bit before you that they can teach you things and that they can, can help uh, you know speak into your life, give you godly wisdom. Look again, when we're talking about being a mentor, it doesn't mean that you're perfect by no means. I can tell you that. But what it does show you is, and, and what it can help with somebody else is that some of the things that you've been through already you can teach that or you can share that. Hey, maybe it's about being a good listener. Maybe it's being a, a safe place for somebody else. Maybe it's that you can speak something in somebody's life that maybe that you've already experienced or maybe come at it another way to give them a safe place that they can can, can, can be heard and, and, and you can give them some godly direction. I am grateful for the folks that have, have, have mentored me and spoken to my life. And I'm telling you now, it's a time in my life that I'm trying to turn that around and pour it on to the next generation because you know what when we hand that baton off i want to see this next generation strong doing well and encouraged so ask god who he's put in your life that you can speak into their life who is it that god has called you to mentor again it doesn't mean that your uh life is perfect as a matter of fact the very thing that you think that might disqualify you in helping somebody else might be the very thing that qualifies you. So look, let's build on the Word of God. Let's build up each other and then build out 
on the promises of God so that we can reach around the world with the gospel message. Hope you guys have a great time tonight, man. Share the word. Look who God has put close to you. Speak life into their life, and I guarantee it's going to be a blessing. God is counting on you to be a difference maker. We love you. Check out our website at keepthepromise.org. See what's going on. God's got a lot of cool things planned for us for the next couple of weeks, man. We're going to have some great opportunities. We want you to be a part of it. So check it out. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Share the message.